Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is my everyday makeup drawer for August. We are already in August, it's so crazy. But if you're not familiar with these videos, we're going through my makeup collection and picking out the products that I'm going to put in my everyday makeup drawer for the month. And then at the end, we do our makeup together using some of the products. So that is today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty content here on YouTube. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And if you think you are subscribed, double check and make sure that you actually are because about 30% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please, please, please make sure you're subscribed and also if you turn the bell notification on, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So thank you so much if you do do that. I think that's everything. We'll start by going through last month's makeup and then we'll get into everything else. Let's get started. All right, here is everything from this month, except I did take out a few things in here. I have foundations and concealers in this area right here, but I did a declutter of those products. So some of them I pulled out and we decluttered them. So I just didn't put stuff back in. So that's why that's empty. But I did throw my... Purito BB cream back in here. And then I realized I forgot this foundation in my declutter. I forgot this was a foundation when I opened this drawer up to look. So this is a keep, the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation. This is pretty new to me. So I was not gonna declutter this anyways, but I did forget about it. And I also forgot my Milk Future Fluid Concealers. And these, honestly, I'm unsure of. I like these okay, but they're definitely not a favorite for me. These were sent to me in PR a little while ago. I think I am gonna keep them for now, but they're kind of at that point where they're on the chopping block because I'm not really sure if I love them, but I did forget those three products right here. A few things from this last month that I loved. Honestly, all of my blushes I used so much except for this Gucci one. I don't really know why, but I use my Kosas blushes and my Persona blushes a ton. And even these milk uh, cooling jelly tints, I actually really enjoy these. If you just barely touch them with a brush and then tap them on your face. If you do anything else, they are a stain, so they're very hard to work with, but they do last on your skin. I will say that, even when it is hot, they last. Oh, another standout product this month, kind of random, but this Maybelline Builder Brow. I love this, and obviously I like it for brows, but do you know what I've been doing with this? Is <laughs> I've been using this for eyeliner. See how tiny the little point is? It's so nice if you have hooded eyes or small eyes. The tip on this is so small that it works really well for liner. I don't know if you're supposed to put this on your eyes, but I've been doing it and I've really been liking it. I wear a medium brown in this, but this has been something I've been using almost daily. And also the Misha BB cream. This, uh, yeah, I love this product. I'm so glad I pulled this out started using it and I love this. I love this so much. If you like the Misha BB cream, that one is very, very similar. And all right, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead as always and put these things away and then we'll pick out some new makeup.
let's pick out some new products from my newly decluttered foundation and concealer drawer and primer. This is so much better to look at. I Every single time I do a declutter, the everyday makeup drawer I film after that just always feels even better. But unfortunately, this is the only one that I've decluttered so far. So the rest of the drawers are not going to feel like this. But let's go ahead and pick some products from here. We'll start with primer. Okay, I think I'm going to do this MAC. Studio Radiance. This is the Moisturizing and Illuminating Silky Primer. I haven't had this for very long. This is very new to me. I got it from my Full Face of MAC video and I've only used it twice. So I definitely want to use that some more. So I think we will pull that out. Should we bring out the Flawless Filter in shade number three? This one's definitely been neglected in my collection. If you saw my declutter video, I kind of talked about how I had four of these. I did end up decluttering two of them and keeping two of them. This used to be like an everyday product for me. I just don't use it as much anymore. There's been so many of these glowy kind of products that have come out in the last few years. And I don't know, I just don't reach for this as often, but I'm kind of in the mood. So we'll pull that out. You know what? We're gonna pull out Rare Beauty too, the pore diffusing primer. This is a good time of year for this because I don't know, I find that in the last few months, especially since it's been just ridiculously hot out, I don't know if my skin is changing or maybe I'm just getting oilier, I don't know, but I do find my T-zone just seems to be oilier in general and I feel like I need a primer that can kind of help with that. This is not the most mattifying primer, but it is pretty mattifying, so I think I will also pull that out just to have it out and that should be it for primer, for foundation this time. Okay, I am gonna pull this out. If you saw my declutter that I was talking about, I kind of mentioned I used this foundation recently and kind of fell back in love with it. I've over the years kind of gone back and forth with this, but the other day I pulled this out and used it and it just looked so good. I don't know, sometimes I think Maybe it's just my preferences are changing, my skin is changing, I'm in my 30s now, so things don't look the same in your 30s as they did in your 20s, and I'm sure it will continue to change as I get older, but this has kind of been on my mind since I pulled it out, so we're gonna put that in this month. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this also, the Dr. Jart BB Balm. This is a good, everyday makeup kind of product. It's like a light medium coverage. Actually, it's decent coverage for a BB cream, but this is the shade Fair Light. It does have SPF in it. It's SPF 40 and I don't know. I don't use that one that much, so kind of want to put that in also. And let's see, I'm kind of thinking I might just do two this time. I'm going to put in more concealers, I think, and I just... I don't know, I don't wanna put too many things in. I say this every time, but whenever I put in too many products, I feel like they don't get used the way I want them to, and that's the whole point of these videos. So I think maybe we'll just stop with those two for foundations. For a corrector, which are right here, I did not declutter these in the declutter video I was talking about just because I didn't really get rid of anything here, so there wouldn't really be a point in me including that in the video, but if you were wondering, that's why I didn't include these. But let's do, or let's pick a color corrector. What should we do this time? Should we do Pixie? I just love Pixie. This is one of my favorite correctors, honestly. It's so good. I just wish it came in more colors, but it is a great product. Kind of in the mood to use this one. So I think we're just gonna do one this time. For corrector, we're gonna go with Pixie and then concealer. Honestly, my concealers look way better now that I've decluttered them. I feel much less overwhelmed by this group, which is a good thing. All right, I think we're gonna do Chanel Sublimage. I am determined to use this product up all the way and I'm not even close. So I am gonna put this in because I spent a lot of money on that and I refuse to not use it. So we're gonna put that in. 
but I want to do something else as well. I think we will actually put in Luminous Silk from Armani since we put in that foundation this time. So I'm going to do that one as well. That one is lighter coverage than I typically like, so I need to pick something that's fuller coverage that I can try mixing with that. I kind of want to put this in for some reason, this little mini Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. I almost wonder how this would be mixed with that Armani Luminous Silk. I think we might do that, honestly. And I think that's it. I, like I said, I'm trying not to overwhelm and pick too many things because I'm never happy with it when I do that. So I think that's everything for this drawer. Okay, this drawer is the next to be decluttered. And let me tell you, this one is also in need of a declutter. Honestly, this drawer and foundation and concealer and primer, these two are my most overfilled drawers and yeah this is veering into out of control so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed because we're gonna declutter this drawer next but that's not what we're doing right now so let's pick out some powders which are over here but honestly I've kind of been on a powder I don't know what I've been doing but I have somehow accumulated a lot of powders <laughs> in the last like two or three months so I don't know why, like I said earlier, I think my skin is changing or I don't know, I feel like I need more powder now and I've never felt like that really, but lately I'm just reaching for the powder more. Last month I had this powder foundation in and I used this quite a bit. I, I love this personally, the Natasha Denona High Glam Powder, but we're not going to put that in this time because I had that in before. But I kind of want to do a powder foundation again. Maybe we will put in Jane Iredell. This is such a good one when it's hot out. This is a powder, so obviously it kind of helps if you get oily. This is great if you have oily skin. It does have SPF in it, and it's just a really nice product. So I think I will pull that out for a powder foundation. I guess I will put this in, which, oops, see, this is why we need to declutter. I'm going to put this one, the MAC Studio Fix. This is my newer one for my MAC video, and I'm undecided on this. I have used it and liked it. I've also used it and really not liked it, so I feel like I need to play around with this some more to figure it out. So for a loose option, I'll do that. And then I am gonna pick a pressed powder too because I feel like I need options. We could go back to a classic, so classic that it's broken. The Maybe I should use this. I kinda wanna use my cloud set again. Should we pull this one out? Even though it is broken, it makes me sad. Uh, but it's still good. I think we'll do that. All right, for powders, I think that should be good. For highlighter, I mean, honestly, like I was saying, I'm so just <laughs> oily recently. I really don't need highlighter, but I want to put one in anyways. All right, I guess we will do this. The Cali Ray, um, the highlight. Is this even around anymore or did this get discontinued? I'm not sure. We're going to put that in though. And that's it for highlighter or bronzer. This is another category that somehow has gotten way, way out of hand. Okay, I'm gonna put this in, the Sephora Collection Contour Stick. This is shade light to medium, and this is pretty new to me, but I really like this. The times I've used it, I think this is a great formula. So I'm gonna put that in for a cream. And okay, for powder, maybe we will actually do Sephora collection with this as well since we're putting in the cream. This is the matte bronzer. So these are relatively new. They've been reformulated and repackaged and they're very, very nice, very high quality. This is shade Golden Gate number one. Honestly, I might put this in. <laughs> The Skin Enhancer. I know I, I put this in a lot, but I just love this product. And it, that's a nice, 
cream that is very light and more on the sheer side if I don't want something super pigmented. So I think we will also put that in. I don't think I'm gonna do a face palette this time. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. So I think that's it for here. Okay, four blushes this time. Okay, I know I wanna put in one of these road blushes. Honestly, I might put in more than one. I have actually been really liking this formula. I didn't really expect to love it, but I actually really like these. And I have three. I have Piggy, Freckle, and Toasted Teddy. And honestly, I love all three. So I'm trying to decide, should I put all three in? Should I pick one? I think I am gonna put Toasted Teddy in. This one, is that? No, no, that's Freckle. Where's Toasted Teddy? Toasted Teddy looks like this. So for my skin tone, it's very intense, but if you apply this really sheerly, this color is the prettiest terracotta sunburnt shade. You just have to be kind of light-handed if you're a lighter skin tone, but it is such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. So I'm definitely gonna put that one in. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put one of these others or pick a different formula maybe. Um, you know what, I think I'm just gonna do Toasted Teddy and pick a different formula. I wanna do this Makeup by Mario. This is his Soft Pop Blush Stick, but this is one of the newer colors in Sweet Pink. It's kind of a, it's like a peachy pink, but it's a really pretty shade. I'm gonna put that in. Guys, it's time to declutter the blushes. <laughs> also but that will be for another video i think we might do one of these armani blushes okay maybe we'll do this one this is shade 51 it's a really beautiful warmer rose i think we will do that and then i kind of want to do like a just a nude blush but i'm trying to decide oh i kind of want to put in crystal slipper, but I feel like I did that recently. Actually, you know what? I might put in this Sephora collection. We picked a lot of Sephora collection. This is also one of the newer colors, but it's self-made and it's such a beautiful pinky nude. It's like the perfect pinky nude. It's just a matte blush, but it's a, it's a really good color and it goes with pretty much everything. I think we'll stop there. I think that's good. So that's everything for here. Four brows. I'm really getting to the point where I am very set in my brow ways and I don't want to stray from it. Um, so I feel like I'm constantly picking up the same things, but it's because I just like what I like for brows. I'm trying to use this up and I feel like it's just never ending, this Rare Beauty Brow Gel. It's good, it's not bad, that's not why I wanna use it up. I just wanna get through some of these brow products and I feel like I can't ever get through anything because I pick the same things over and over, you know? We'll do that brow gel and yeah, you know what? It's time to declutter this drawer also, so coming soon. All right, we'll do this Kosas Brow Pop. Nano. As always, I'm going to put the ABH brow powder in because that's just a forever favorite for me. And all right, for an eye primer, I think I might put in my Painterly. Mine is getting very old, but honestly, it still works. And usually if I spray a little bit of like a setting spray in it, it will make it creamy again. So I'm thinking that'll be the one. All right, mascara. We'll do Ilia Limitless Lash. And I guess we'll do Mac Stack in Chestnut because that is a newer one for me. And that's it for mascaras. Now, four single eyeshadows. Okay, I'm definitely gonna put this in also. This is also a paint pot from Mac, but this is Groundwork. This is the one that I used in my Full Face of Mac video, and I really like this. Not necessarily as like, well, it can be a primer, but really I wanna use this as like a one and done eyeshadow color, so we're gonna put that in. Let's do one of my Chanel. 
Or maybe we should put both of these in. All right, let's do this one. Is this Quartz Fume or no? Brune Talpa. Let's do Brune Talpa. I'm gonna do some shadow sticks this time. We're gonna do Moonstone from Bobbi Brown and Smoky Topaz from Bobbi Brown. Those are both from the uh, set from the Nordstrom sale. Actually, we'll do all three of them from there. Shell is also from that set. And let's see, there's another one. Okay, this one I got, or my mom actually got it for me at the cosmetics company store, but it's the shade Soft Bronze. It's a really pretty color. I'm gonna put that in also. And then I might do the Mambo liner, or not liner, it's a shadow stick from NARS. It's like a really pretty reddish brown. I guess we'll do this one also, which is Don't Touch from NARS. Don't Touch is similar to Shell from Bobbi Brown, but they're a little bit different. So we'll put that in also. And then I might do one of my like top coats, maybe. We could do this from Mario. This is his Chroma Crystal, or no, what is this? Master Crystal Reflector in the Bronze, oh, yeah. I think we'll do that one. I haven't used that in a long time. And last for an eyeliner, I think we'll just do Teddy from MAC this time. This is a new addition to my eyeliners from my MAC video. So I think we'll do that and that should be everything for here. All right, for eyeshadows. You know what's crazy is honestly as much makeup as I have, my eyeshadows have not gotten super out of hand, which I'm happy about. That's a win for me. I don't tend to buy as many eyeshadow palettes as I did at one time. Just, I don't know, it's just not really my thing. My thing is more complexion. Now, I love an eyeshadow palette if it's something that really speaks to me, but overall, eyeshadow palettes are not like my favorite thing. But anyways. What should we put in this time? I honestly kind of want to do this little palette. I love this little palette so much. This Dior uh, Quint in Nude Dress. This is, this is probably in my top five palettes, honestly. I just love every color in here. I love that it's small, it's compact. It's all colors that I would use and I just, I just love this little quad. Honestly, I might do that and nothing else because we put in so many single shadows or shadow sticks. I don't really feel like I need anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. That is it for this drawer. All right, last for lip products. I'm definitely gonna do these two because these are new and I wanna keep using them. Uh-oh, I hope I can get that out. These new Fenty, the gloss sticks, I think. I can't really, I have two of them. Fenty Glow and Is It Fussy? These are literally brand new. I've used them one time. So I don't really have an opinion on them yet, but I want to pull those out for sure. I think I will also pull out this In Beauty Project Lip Oil and Fruit Punch. It looks really bright and scary, but when you put it on, it's much more of like a sheer coral color. So I think, I will pull that out. I might also pull out one of these from Edom. These are the lip softening balms. I have all of the colors. They sent me all the colors in PR. And it's a really nice formula. It's like a very, very thick lip mask. The only thing is, it's kind of hard to tell what color you're getting. This one is like a rosy brown. I think I might actually pull that one out just to have something a little bit different. I am also going to pull out my Laneige lip mask for before makeup. I like to have a product like this out. I'm going to pull this out. This is my lipstick that I made at the Lip Lab in New York. And I actually love the color, but I, I it's just... It reminds me of the trip and I named it Belle after my cat. So that is just gonna be like a permanent product in rotation. I think we'll do this. Thanks, it's MAC. Love that lipstick. I don't wear lipstick every day, but 
I like to have a few out just in case I want to. Might even pull this lipstick out. This is a Tom Ford lipstick in Blush Nude. I don't like it on its own, but I like it kind of in the center of my lips to lighten things up. And I haven't used that in a long time, so I think I will pull that out. Also gonna pull this out. This is his new one in Watermelon Glow, and I just love this color so much. So that is definitely coming out. Maybe we'll do another one of these too. We'll pull out Bronze Glow also. that I love that formula so much. I think I might pull this out. This is the NARS Afterglow Balm in Dolce Vita. I haven't used that in a little while, so I think we'll pull that out. And then maybe one more gloss. I This is actually a gloss I've been loving lately, the Maybelline Lifter in the shade Moon. It's such a pretty, sparkly, sheer pink, and it kind of it just kind of goes with everything. So I think I'll pull that out also. And then let's pick some lip liners. I am going to do this one. This is Structure from Pat McGrath. If you've been around for a long time, you know. This used to be my very, very favorite lip liner, and I haven't been using it lately. I kind of miss it, so I think we will do Structure. I'm gonna do this one that is new to me, but I do really like it so far. It's Jones Road in Tawny Nude. I'm gonna do the Hourglass lip liner in Tempt number three. That, I feel like that one I've definitely neglected. I haven't used it a ton since I've had it. Um, I like to choose a lot of lip liners because lip liner is one of my favorite things. So I like to have a lot of options. I always choose at least one Mario lip liner because I love, love these. I think we'll do, let's do Spiced Chai from Mario. That one's kind of a deeper neutral brown but it's really really pretty i think we'll also do deep taupe from anastasia i think we'll also do maybelline totally toffee that's another really good neutral i also have two of the new fenty lip liners actually I'm going to put these in also because I'm still testing these out. I am unsure how I feel about these, to be honest. They definitely were not like love at first use. Here's the other one in, oh, this is peanut butter. The other one is rubber, band, rubber bands. I'm going to put those in too. And that is everything. All right. So now, as always, we're going to put all this stuff away and then we'll do our makeup together. Makeup Forever palette. This is the cream, like all over face palette with blushes and foundation and bronzer in there. I had this open space here and that's pretty new to me, so I figured I would just stick that in also. But we have primer here, we have my setting powders here, bronzers, blushes, Sublimage concealer, rest of my concealers. My skincare, I didn't show picking this out because I basically kept it the same other than the Laneige and I did put this in this time. The Refi Under Eye Balm because I just got this and I want to keep using it. Blushes, my other bronzer right here, foundations, the other primer, and that Cali Ray highlighter. Then I have mascara, eyeshadows, brows, lip liners, and... Uh, eyeshadow sticks here and then my lipsticks and lip glosses 
right there. So now we'll use the products and do our makeup together. All right, let's do some makeup, but first I need to do SPF. I haven't done this yet. We're gonna use my Old Faithful, the one I just, I can't seem to stop using the Skin 1004. I love this stuff. It is just the best. I have yet to find something I like more than this one. I mean, it just lays beautifully under makeup. It never pills or does anything weird. It has SPF 50. I absolutely love it. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Refi Eye Balm and put this under the eyes. I've only used this a few times, but so far I am loving it. It feels so good and cooling. I don't know what gives it that cooling sensation, but it definitely has it. I looked it up on Sephora and it does say it's supposed to give like this really refreshing feeling when you apply it and it definitely does. So I'm curious if you struggle with puffiness, I wonder how this would work, if this would help with that. I don't have puffy eyes really ever. I only ever at this point have like my discoloration, but I wonder if you have puffiness, if that would help. If you've tried it and you do, let us know in the comments. All right, let's move into makeup. I'm gonna use the Pixie Corrector under my eyes and I'm actually, <laughs> getting ready to go. This is gonna just really expose how boring I am. It is Saturday afternoon and I am going to go to the library when I finish filming this video. I am out of a book to read. I just finished a book and I need a new one. And I actually haven't been to the library here since we moved, so. I'm pretty excited about it, but yes, I am incredibly exciting on this Saturday afternoon. But if you have any book recommendations, leave them in the comments. I like a little bit of romance, but not anything too romancy. I like something with some suspense in it uh, in terms of books. So let me know if there's anything that you've read that you think. I might like or that you recommend. When this video goes up, I will have already gone to the library, but I'll add it to my list for the next time that I go. But that is what I am doing on this Saturday afternoon. And then later tonight, or later around six o'clock today, I am going live with Martina on my channel. And we're gonna do just one of our long chats about new makeup releases. So that will be really fun. So if you missed it, you can go back and watch it. It'll be on my channel. And if you're on like the main page, you can click on the live tab and you can watch the replay if you missed it. Um, Cause it'll already, it'll already have happened by the time this video goes up. All right, I think for foundation, I'm going to use Armani Luminous Silk today. This is shade number five. And this is typically a really good shade match for me if I don't have any color or self tan or anything, which I don't right now. I'm excited to talk about all the new makeup releases tonight, but one of the things that I'm personally excited about is the Urban Decay, the Naked Palette. is coming back, if you haven't heard, it's coming back exclusively at Ulta, I think. And I'm really excited about that because even though I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow, eyeshadow is not, not really my thing. I used to like it a little bit more back when I first started my channel. But now I just, I just, I don't know. Eyeshadow is not like my main thing. I'm much more of a complexion product person. But I decluttered my original Naked palette. Probably, I don't know. It was probably in like my first year on YouTube. Maybe my second year, I forget. But I decluttered it. And that is one of the only things I have ever decluttered 
and really regretted it after I did it. Usually when I declutter things, I don't, I'm pretty confident in decluttering it and I don't really regret anything for the most part, but that palette, I have regretted it ever since. I was like, Blair, you, you should have kept that palette. That palette was so iconic in the makeup world and it was all neutrals and it was just one of those palettes like I feel like that palette really ignited the love for eyeshadow that a lot of people had and I think it made a lot of other brands release their palettes because that palette was so popular at the time I don't know but I do plan to get that palette Okay, for concealer, I am going to also use Armani Luminous Silk, and I'm going to mix the Tarte Shape Tape in with it, I think, but I'm also going to put some on my face to get some more coverage. This is shade 4.75. That's the one thing about this concealer is it's really pretty formula, but I do wish it had just a little bit more coverage because it's pretty sheer. But I'm going to take a little bit of this Tarte Shape Tape in 22B and I'm going to mix that in and hope that these two mix well together. And I am blending those under my eyes with the 110 from BK Beauty. And hopefully these two mix well together because you never really know if you've never mixed things and you mix them. Sometimes stuff mixes well and sometimes it does not. I'm going to switch back to my foundation brush on this side and just tap in where we added concealer. Okay, I am going to set my face with some powder. I'm going to use this one from MAC. This is the Pro Set and Blur Powder. This is the one I was saying in the earlier clip that I have used this a few different times now, and sometimes I really like it. Other times I have not really liked it, but the one thing... That I have figured out about it is you need to use a really fluffy brush with it because for whatever reason if you use a brush that's pretty dense I find it looks heavy and cakey it kind of wants to like cling in certain areas so the times I've used it and I thought it looked pretty good I used it with this fluffy Smashbox brush this is the sheer powder brush and uh, this seems to apply it well, but anytime I've used something that's not super wispy and like fluffy like this, it has looked really heavy on my skin. But I wanted to use a setting powder first because I am going to use a powder bronzer. So I'm going to use this Sephora Collection bronzer in number one, Golden Gateway with the Refer number five brush. I did actually just get yesterday, I haven't tried it yet, the new Sephora Collection Skin Tint. Have you seen it? It's like Revealer, the Revealing Skin Tint, or I forget what the exact name of it is, but I did go in store yesterday and get that. So I'm really excited to try that because I do think Sephora collection makeup in general is very underrated and a lot of the newer stuff they've been releasing like the stuff they've kind of reformulated like this these things are made in either Italy or France this one is made in France but like their highlighters the new highlighters those are made in Italy and if you know anything about makeup you know if it's made in Italy typically it's a very nice product so these are definitely being slept on or this brand in general is being slept on okay i'm gonna attempt to use a cream blush over this powder bronzer i hope 
This is okay. I can't remember if I've ever used this formula from Mario over powder, but we're going to try it. This is the shade Sweet Pink, which is one of his newer colors he released in his blush sticks, but it's a really pretty peachy pink. I like the color a lot. Honestly, I really wanted to put in the new Mario Blush Veil and Strawberry Sunset. Honestly, I might pull that out and put that in my drawer also because that blush is, it is just the most beautiful color ever. It's the one I've been wearing in my last few videos. It's just this beautiful kind of bright, poppy, warm pink, and it is so incredibly beautiful. And it's super just dewy and glowy. It's so nice. So I might pull that out too, honestly. I am going to set a little bit more in my T-zone with a smaller brush. This is the N14 from BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose. So I'm going to use this little brush and set under my eyes and kind of my T-zone again. I haven't used this powder under my eyes in a long time. I honestly can't remember if I loved it or not, but we're gonna do it because lately I just have been needing more powder. I don't know, I guess my skin is changing or maybe it's because it's just so hot outside, I don't know. But I have not been able to get away with no powder or minimal powder. I'm using the shade Breezy in this powder. Okay, moving into brows. I'm gonna fill them in with this Kosas Brow Pop Nano in medium brown. This is probably like the tiniest little brow pencil I've ever seen, truly. So if you like something like ultra, ultra fine. I mean, look at this little tip. It's so tiny. This one really does come in handy in like the inner part of my brow because I like to be a little bit more light-handed there and precise. So this tiny little tip is very helpful. I always find it really difficult to switch out my brow products. I don't know why, I'm just very reluctant to switch up the brows for some reason. I love to like play around with everything else, but the brows, I don't know. It's something about changing your brow routine it can be very stressful. Am I alone in that? Do you like to change up your brow products or do you like to keep things the same? Then we're gonna set them in place with the Rare Beauty Brow Gel. I feel like I've been using this forever. And every time I use it, I think, okay, I'm gonna run out of this, but then it just keeps going. For eyes, we're gonna use just a few products. I am going to use this Groundwork Paint Pot from MAC with the Refer number one brush. And I am just gonna apply this all over the lid and up into the crease. I kinda did this in my MAC video if you saw that. And I did end up putting powder shadows over the top, but when I applied this, or I, I thought, I think I even said it in the video, oh my gosh, that is like a perfect one and done shadow. Like I'm not even putting like a primer or anything underneath. I'm just kind of using this on its own and look how perfect this color is. It's so pretty. And you can always obviously add powder shadows over the top and just use this as like a primer. But I just think this tone, this like taupey brown is so pretty. Okay, I kind of want to do a little bit of shimmer. So I either want to use this from Mario or we could use Moonstone from Bobbi Brown. I kind of want to use Mario though, so 
I think we will. This is the bronze color in his master crystal reflector. So this is pretty because it has gold shimmer in it and it also has a little bit of silver in it. So you kind of get both. Such a pretty easy eye look. Um, I'm actually going to take that number one brush from Refer that we used and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with some Teddy from MAC and just line the outer half of my lash line. And I'm going to kind of go in my waterline with this also because I did this the other day and it actually did not transfer down, which I was happy about. I wasn't really sure if it would or not because I couldn't remember from when I've had Teddy in the past. Just doing a little wing and I'm just using this tiny little 23 brush from Refer and just kind of pulling it out a little. That Mario eye topper actually does not have a ton of fallout, which is very unusual because it is, it has like actual chunks of glitter in it, but somehow it stays on your eye, even if you um, use your finger like I did. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes and then we'll go in with some mascara. And I guess I'm going to use Max Stack in the chestnut color. This gives so much everything. Length, volume, even more honestly than I remember the, from the first time I tried it. And the chestnut color in my MAC video, if you saw that, I was saying in that video it doesn't look brown really, it looks more of like a black brown, but then when I watched the footage back, and several of you even commented, it actually did look brown on camera. The only thing with this one is it is uh, kind of like a goopy formula, I find, so I do usually kind of take off the excess around the edge because I do find if you go in when the wand has too much product on it, it can get kind of clumpy, but it gives a ton of length and volume. Okay, for lips, I'm going to use the Hourglass Lip Liner in the shade Tempt, and I guess I'm going to use a little bit of the Mario blush that we used. And then, you know, I want to do a little bit of a gloss. So let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of Maybelline in the shade Moon. All right. And then I am going to spray my face. And let's see. I guess I'll use MAC Fix Plus. All right, that is this month's everyday makeup drawer. Hope you enjoyed it. These are always my very favorite video of all time to film. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, picking out some new makeup and doing our makeup together. I will have all the products listed in the description box and linked in YouTube shopping for you as well. Thank you so much. If you do shop through my links, it does support my channel. So thank you so much. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you again very soon. Remember, simply be you. Bye.